Cricut released a second update in May of 2022. It contains one new feature and three improvements. This video is going to focus on the new feature, which is the monogram maker. If you want to know about the three improvements to uploading images, check out the part two video of this update. I'm linking it in the description. And if you watch to the end of this video, I'll have a link that you can click on to jump you right to it. This is Hank's maker mentor. Let's dive into the monogram maker. We'll start by going over this note from Cricut. At this time, monogram maker is only available in English on Design Space for Desktop version 7.9 and higher. It's still in beta. Anyone can create with it, but only current Cricut Access subscribers can send them to the machine. If you want to know more about Cricut Access, check out the video I've linked in the description. When you open the canvas, you'll see monogram has been added on the left panel here. If your design space has updated to version 7.9 or later and you don't see it, your screen resolution might need to be adjusted. Let me know in the comments if a video showing how to do that would be helpful. When you click on monogram, this window opens. You'll type in the initials up here. It can be up to four. I'm gonna do HMM for Hank's Maker Mentor. You can search by operation type, either cut or cut and draw. I'm going to leave it on any. Next, you need to decide on the style. Classic and thematic are the main categories, but they both have subcategories. Classic has modern, elegant, handwritten, and vintage. You can select frames to go with them. Thematic has botanical, decorative, occasions, interests, and sports. There are a lot of cool designs, including ones that work well for seasons and many of the major holidays. I'm guessing Cricut will continue to add more as well. Not all the monograms are gonna offer the same choices. Cricut also sorts the order the monograms appear in and places the ones that are optimized for the number of initials that you have at the top of the list. But you can continue to scroll down and select a different one if you choose. If you're looking through the frames or fonts and want to go to a specific one, click on these arrows to reach it. I'm going to add this one to the canvas for now and we'll come back in and I'll show you more details about designing them in a minute. But let's take a look at how it functions on the canvas. For this design, the monogram itself is one layer. The interior circle and the stars are the same color and part of the same layer. The red lines are the third and final layer for this design. You can change the colors and the operations or line type of the monograms the same way you do with other layers. You're unable to go in and change the letters of this monogram. They've set it up the same as offset. Since it's quick and easy to create, instead of trying to go in and edit it, you'll just create a new one to make any changes. Let's go back into the monogram maker and talk about a few other things, including the frequently asked questions. When you're typing in initials, it will automatically capitalize them and move to the next box. When you delete it, it automatically shifts the remaining letters forward. On designs where one of the letters is larger than the others, it will always make the last initial you typed in largest. I can add the H at the end, then it becomes the largest one in the monogram itself. If you want to keep them in place and replace one, select it, and instead of clicking delete, just type in the new one. Can you use special characters with the monogram maker? Not all the fonts will let you do special characters. This one does, but you'll see in this one, the rectangle with the X saying it doesn't have a character for the ampersand. You'll just need to pay attention to that and see which ones will work for what you're trying to do. You can enter any character you choose into these boxes, but not all of them will be able to be used with every font. If you're using a free trial of Cricut Access, you create a monogram, you can make it, without a problem until your trial is over. After you no longer have Cricut Access, even though you've created the design before and you've made it before, if you are not a current Access member, you will not be able to send it to your machine again. That's the same as with other projects that you create with Cricut Access images and fonts. What do you think about the Monogram Maker? Let me know in the comments. If you're ready to see the improvements that make up the other part of this update, check out this video right here. Thanks so much for watching Hank's Maker Mentor. Until next time, bye.